Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Arkansas Gun Guy. Today, a close-up look at the Beretta PX4 Storm that I sent to Langdon Tactical for upgrades. I'll kind of talk about my history of this firearm, why I bought it, and why I sent it to Langdon. I'll compare it to a stock PX4 as best I can by referencing this subcompact, which has the same sights, same um, multifunction lever, and same trigger as the stock version does. I'll also compare it to this PX4, which was purchased directly from Langdon. And I'll talk about the benefits of buying directly from Langdon versus sending your own gun to them. So a brief history of me and this firearm. I'd read about the PX4s, watched several videos on them and became interested, but I had never seen one in my local store. And I finally found one, loved it the minute I picked it up. It was a great price. It felt great in my hand. Uh, and so I just bought it. Took it to the range, shot it, and fell in love with it. It was a fantastic shooter right out of the box. A gun that I just shot well, consistently, straight away. But I did have some issues with the trigger with an inconsistent reset, which is rare, but it's something that has happened to these before. Uh, I sent to Beretta. They really couldn't fix it. It was within their specs, they said. So I had already read about Langdon. I was upsold. I wanted to try to send something to Langdon. I had actually already pre-ordered this compact carry directly from Langdon. So while this was on order, I went ahead and sent my full-size PX for them also for several upgrades. And I'll talk about those. But the biggest thing I wanted them to do was upgrade the um, trigger and the, um, the uh, optimized performance trigger bar, which has a really short reset. So again, I'll talk about the changes I made and why I made them and show you the differences. So uh, a couple of things I swapped out. First, were the uh, safety decocker levers. I switched out the standard decocker levers, which look like this. One of the few knocks on the amazing PX4 is that these wings are actually really sharp, and they are. These firearms have been safety checked, just so you know. But if you rack the firearm, those hurt. They, there's a lot there, and you really can't carry them either. They stick out so far and make this thing quite wide with these wide ears. So. If you order from Langdon, they come with stealth decockers, which are absolutely flat against the body, perfect for carrying, and they work very well. I hadn't planned on carrying this full-size PX4, so I went with the 92 style levers. I guess these are levers similar to uh, Breda's 92 series, but you can see the difference in shape there. They're not quite as sharp. They're very, I mean, I'll do a safety check here as well. They're easy to you know, grab a hold of when you pull back, but they don't hurt at all. And they're still very easy to actuate. I chose to leave it with a safety and decocker. You can make this decocker only like the compact carry, but I don't mind the safety. So again, this one is super easy to actuate for me, uh, whether it puts it in safety mode like this or easy to flip up into double action, single action. So first thing I changed was the safety decocker from the standard. Second thing I changed were the sights. Again, standard sights on the PX4 are standard three dot sights, and they are quite accurate. Again, I shot them very well, like them, easy to shoot. But I want to try the Ameriglow sights, so that's what I put on this guy. It comes with these blacked out rears, you can see here, and that front post. So, really good sight picture, and I'll tell you, I shoot this gun. Better than the compact carry just because of this long sight radius that's really easy to see. So um, change the multifunction lever here, change the sights. I also went ahead and had Langdon engrave their logo on the hood there just so I remember that I spent money on the firearm. Um, the other big thing I did was the trigger. So again, this is a standard trigger. Uh, and it's a good trigger, the double action pull, and I, I haven't done my trigger gauge, but it's a heavy pull, but it's a smooth pull. But the reset on a standard trigger is like this. Good, not great, and not bad, pretty good. A little bit of take up, and you shoot. Again, real close. Little long reset, a little bit of take up, and you go boom. On this guy with the enhanced trigger bar, I'll take a look inside in a second, the trigger pull is lightened pretty significantly. I believe this is in the six, high six, low seven pound range. So smooth and light, but then the reset is the magic. Reset is 
there, nothing. And then no take up, watch this, you're at the wall instantly. Boom, again, reset is millimeters. And then there's no take up at the wall instantly. So an absolutely stunning trigger, this reset on the uh, um, optimized performance trigger bar from Langdon Tactical. The trigger to me feels pretty much identical as the one I got from Langdon. Uh, the only difference really in these guns uh, from Langdon is the fact that the internals when you buy them directly from Langdon are all coated with NP3. And we'll take a look at that in a second. So um, love, love, I will tell you, I think it's a better value if you want to buy a Langdon enhanced firearm to buy it directly from them. If you piece it out and buy the gun, ship it to Langdon and choose your parts, it's better to just buy the gun from Langdon. And you can also do a la carte menu type things there too and choose what you want, Cerakote, no Cerakote, uh, what levers you want, all the options you can buy. It's cheaper to buy it directly from Langdon. So again, this gun, full size, I shoot better than the compact carry just because of the longer sight radius and you know bigger gun. Uh, but the trigger feels identical. The sights are identical. I didn't choose to have the slide here coated, although I know these have somewhat fragile uh, finishes on them, fine. But the last thing I wanna show you is kind of the internals. One big difference of ordering directly from Langdon versus sending your own firearm. Uh, to be um, upgraded. So this is the firearm ordered directly from Langdon, and it has NP3 coating. And the first place you'll notice that is in the magazines. This is the NP3 coated magazine versus a standard Breda magazine, both metal. But this guy has a silicone type finish. It was called NP3. I think they've changed the name technically now, but this thing slides in like butter. So in the different color follower as well. And you can buy these from Langdon as well for the standard or for one of their own guns. So the first thing you'll notice is the difference of the, uh, the magazine. Then looking inside, safety check for those of you here. Um, so looking inside, take this guy apart. You can see my standard PX4. There's the trigger package and with the enhanced trigger bar. This is the trigger package with NP3 coating. All the parts in here are seriously slick and just so smooth together. Uh, I really can't tell a big difference in the trigger when I shoot them. Uh, this one also has the kind of bobbed hammer versus a standard hammer here, but they do have different coatings inside there. So uh, also inside the slide, you can see my standard PX4. Pretty much just basic. I won't take this all the way out, but uh, just basic internals. The compact carry from Langdon is MP3 coated throughout. You've got different finish all the way through here and on the barrel. Uh, the barrel is incredibly slick in there. So again, I love, love, love the full size. I just got back from Langdon. Uh, if I had to do all, all over again, I would probably just go to Langdon and buy my full size and uh, from the start there. I didn't know how much I loved the gun when I bought it. So um, that's how I kind of have taken this journey. But I'll tell you, I'm a massive, massive fan of the PX4, uh, and I'm thrilled with the results I got from sending my stock PX4 to Langdon Tactical for all of their upgrades. They do also return, in case you're curious, everything back to you. Uh, they put the original hammer spring in there, uh, your original sights, and your original trigger bar. Um, so all the bits on your, your control levers. So everything comes back to you in case you ever need it or if you need parts for your other uh, PX4s because they're all pretty interchangeable as well. So that is my look at my PX4 that I sent to Langdon Tactical for the Langdon upgrades and kind of how it compares to a gun if you buy it directly from Langdon, which I, again, would probably recommend because I think it is a better value and it is a gun that is incredibly special. I can't tell you how good these guns shoot and how amazing they feel. As always, thank you guys so much for watching the Arkansas Gun Guy. If you haven't yet, would you like and subscribe to help me grow my channel? Or tell your friends. Uh, that way I can help grow my channel. Thanks again.